G'day and welcome to today's video. It's been a few days since I've been on the bike. It's been really wet in Brisbane. Today is the first full sunny day without any rain. The paths have still got a lot of crap on them, so I'm going to take it easy. Just headed out to Sandgate to get my Eddington done. there today and uh, got that right in who knows it might rain for another two weeks one of the ways um, I try and stay consistent throughout the year is with the Eddington and you might have heard me talk about it before but it's basically the number of days upon which you cover the same number of kilometers so I think last year my Eddington was 62 um, which means I covered 62 kilometers on 62 days of the year so this year I'm heading for 65, um, today's ride counts towards that um, and it's just one way of um, staying consistent. Uh, one of the things that I like about it, um, particularly when you get to uh, the 60s, you can break down any one of the longer rides that you do, say 120, 180, 240, into uh, smaller chunks. So I can always do 60, I can roll out and just do 60 k's takes two and a half hours, I get back and I know exactly how I'm going to feel at the end of that. Um, some days I can go out there and smash them, other days take a little bit longer to get it done. Um, today I did 70, close to 75 k's in about three hours, so you know, it feels good. Um, nothing, nothing too stressful, um, come home, rest, recover, um, and that's how you build your base. You just keep um, building on top of those regular sort of, you know, two to three hour rides. Um, and I'm going to keep doing that, going to keep doing that until the end of the year. This month I've got a couple of um, good rides coming up. One of them is the Gregor's Creek Circuit and it's a, um, it's a 200k circuit around uh, the upper Brisbane River, Wyvernhoe Dam, uh, Somerset Dam and Gregor's Creek which is the very upper reaches of the Brisbane River. So last week because of all the rain the, uh, the Gregor Creek road was cut by the Brisbane River um, so the floodwaters are receding now but what I what I think we'll see when we get out there are some really lush um, farm fields some really lush pastures um, and you know basically the Brisbane Valley coming back to, to life after uh, so many years of drought so I'm really looking forward to that if I don't get to do the Gregor's Creek circuit um, there's another around the mountains uh, ride that starts in the gap, finishes in the gap, um, goes around uh, Mount Nebo and Mount Glorious, just skirts around the, the, the back of them, uh, and then comes back via Ipswich. So that's going to be a little bit more daunting. Um, certainly, I need to be prepared for that. So I'm hoping to string together a few um, good days in the saddle over the next two weeks. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to that make sure you're notified um, when I post up about those rides coming up later this month make sure you subscribe and hit the bell uh, the other thing is if you, you like what I post um, smash the like button it uh, puts these posts in front of more people so it really helps with um, yeah, boosting uh, the reach of each one of these videos if there's something that you'd like me to share with you just let me know in the comments below um, and I look forward to seeing you out there on the road. So, peace out.